Folks, good, day. good evening from a nice sunny South Florida. We are here at Lowe's Home Improvement and in today's video we're going to show you the latest tool deals and we have some pretty good BOGOs to show you. Buy one get one free tool deals that we want to take a look at here. So let us get started my friends. Um, I did want to remind you of a couple of things that you know some of those other buy one get ones that were going on over the last few weeks over the summer are going to be expiring soon hey Konaman was first in this time and there's tammy what's up mike all right so for example let me see this flex one okay so you know with this flex when we had the buy one get one on the 24 volt kit this one's going to expire on the 28th so that's a next week so any of you guys that were waiting on these flex uh, deals to take advantage of that, you only got about a, another week or so. So beware of that. And also be mindful of the Bosch deal. Um, if you remember, we've been showing you this probably since the first week of August, where if you bought the Freak or if you bought the, the drill driver kit, you would get the, uh, the battery for free, right? So this deal is going to end in a few days right there. See that? So I just wanted to make sure you folks were aware of that. And Scott says, hi, Jeff. Thanks for what you do for us. Hey, no problem. And Jose checked in also. All right. We're going to go right over here to... These aren't live yet, but they're actually here on the floor. But, you know, one of the guys was telling me, hey, you know, if you go up to the register and, and it didn't ring up yesterday, they were saying. But, you know, if it's on the floor at this price, they probably will give it to you. So here is the Craftsman has instituted a new buy one, get one. Now there's another one that's, that's gonna be ending in a few days, okay? So this buy one, get one here involves buying the Craftsman 20 volt max four amp hour battery kit or the two tool combo kit, okay? So basically what they're saying is if you buy one of these two kits over here on the left, then you get to choose from one of these tools over here on the right. And so this one is going to start on the 25th. So it may or may not be in your store yet. So that's what you gotta watch out for. And Steven says, hello. All right, so let's take a look at them here. And remember, so you have up to a $119 max value there. So that's why, you know, when you get these buy one, get one deals, you always want to maximize the buy one get one free deal so for example this one right here here is the rotary hammer so this guy right here is 119 so this would be like the maximum price tool that you could get for free under this deal this buy one get one tool deal here at Lowe's on these craftsman tools the Cirque saw is another one at 119 and the grinders 99 not too bad and here you've got the impact wrench at 119 also so any one of these would be the perfect one to get for the buy one get actually this is one of those rare cases where almost all of the tools that are free as part of the bogo are like almost the same price and they're at the max sometimes you get these stupid things like an led light thrown in and the and i'm like what fool would you know get the 49 dollar led light or something like that and let's see rapunzel says just finishing off my coffin made from old pallet wood hey that that would be cool the old coffin all right so these are the the craftsman deals and remember these are starting on the 25th they just got the jump in our store here to put these up let me just kind of show you here so there's what it looks like so if you buy any of those two on the right, on the left, you get to choose one of those free on the right. Okay. And Armando says, "Was up from South Cal, Cal oh from Southern Cal California." Thanks for your time. And yes, Tammy, I am ha I'm having a busy day today. I was over at Costco today. Uh, it's the second time I've been to Costco in I don't know a few days. I went there to pick up toilet paper, actually, because we're in a toilet paper and paper towel shortage again, folks. I was at Sam's Club yesterday, and they had none, no toilet paper, and they had no paper towels. 
Went to Costco today. They got a delivery. I posted a photo of it on Nextdoor. Sent a bunch of my friends over to go get some for them because they're limiting it to one. Okay. So this I wanted to show you. This is the clearance that they're doing on these DeWalt blades. Now these are for those of you that have the 12 inch miter saw. Now this is that kit. If you guys remember, and, and by the way, this price is correct where it says was $59.98. Because normally they get this kit in at Black Friday every year, like the last three years they've done this. And this kit is normally $59.98 for these two Cirque Saw blades, uh, Cirque Saw, <laughs> these two miter saw blades. And only at Black Friday do they run it down to $39.98. But now it looks like they just got them clearancing out. Here, let's see. So I'm wondering if I should get one of these. Oh, they're heavy. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get one of these for the tool giveaway? Let me know in the comments there if I should get one of these. And maybe we'll do it for the uh, next tool giveaway. I don't know how, how much in demand those are or if anybody would be interested in entering to win those. And Double D says, good afternoon, Jeff. Hope all is well. Yes, it is. And Ted is with us again today. Shitty. Yeah, I still need to get back up to the Boca store and see if they'll they'll take my offer on those 105-piece uh, gunmetal craftsman set. Okay, because um, Tool Nerd sent me some more documentation and a full copy of his receipt that hopefully I'll get them to match. Here is another buy one, get one with DeWalt. This one is starting also on the 25th. And I'm going to hold this right there for a second. There's all of the model numbers that it affects. So basically the way this one's going to work is if you buy this, if you buy this DeWalt uh, 5 amp hour battery kit, or if you buy the drill driver, or if you buy the impact driver, you get either a DeWalt 20 volt max bare tool, or you get another battery for free. So this is the battery kit that they're talking about. So if you, if you bought this for 159 so this has, um, I believe, I, uh, they just showed me on the screen a minute ago. I, it was either one or two 5 amp hour batteries and a charger and a bag. And they're not even here. We were looking all up on, on top. There's where all the batteries are. We were looking up top and we couldn't even see them. So they're not even here. Two by fours on sale. Maybe we'll check. We'll go by there in a minute and see. And Smoke Joe, Smokey Joe says, get the blades. Definitely buy those blades, says Paul. And let's see, anybody else? All right, let me, so let me grab one of these and put these in the cart as part of our haul for tonight. Yeah, so what a busy afternoon. I was over also at BJ's checking out what their latest deals are over there, and I'm going to be posting some. But there was some incredible furniture deals over there with leather, leather couches and dining room tables and stuff, stuff that was like $200 $300 off. TVs up to $500 off. So you're going to be seeing that upload in the next day or two. Um, remember, even the Cobalt stuff too, see? So a lot of these are ending next week. So if any of you guys were contemplating any of these deals, these buy one, get ones that have been going on here since August, you better get down here like soon. Uh, what else did they do? Is there anything? I think that was that over there. I want to take a quick look down the miters. The Mighty Miters. So if we go down the Mitre Saw aisle, so we have, and I've showed you this before, I think a few weeks ago, when they lowered the price here of the DeWalt, this is the DWS 779. So this one here is basically one model down from here, the, the 780. And this one here, as you can see here, They've already jumped the price up here to $6.29 at Lowe's. This used to be $5.99 here. So it used to be that you would never see really discounts on these, and it has the XPS lighting system. So what people would do in the past, knowing that this one is pretty close, almost identical, and they would buy this one and then go on to Amazon and buy the XPS system separately, the little lighting thing on there. They, there's third-party companies that, that sell them on Amazon, and... They would have virtually the identical machine now. Because when you look at these two, yeah, uh, this, I don't know, mainly some different markings. I don't know if these stickers come off or if they're actually on the actual product when you buy it. But, I mean, they look pretty exact to me. 
any DeWalt 12 volt tool deals there are indeed let's go take a look because we're uh we're about 20 feet away let me see maybe we're a little bit further but they're they had some right over here but i think these deals are ending though guys and let's see swat 257 sends a two dollar super chat thank you so much for that and he says haven't seen it in a while ryobia still garbage <laughs> Ah, yeah, so this one, actually, no, actually, this goes on until November 3rd on these. So on the 12 volts, if you buy a, a two-tool 12-volt uh, Max Extreme, so this is this one has the subcompact brushless cordless combo kit, and I don't think we even have that kit, like, sitting here right now. We might be out of them. But anyway, if you buy that kit, you get to choose another one of the beer tools free. So these guys are all right here, and I got to tell you, they are just really cute little tools they're tiny. You talk about subcompact. This guy, look how look how big he is compared to my hand, man. He's just a tiny little guy there. So yeah. So if you buy that two-tool combo kit, you could probably. I, I'm. Let me see. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five tools that they have in there on the kit <clears throat> as your possible buy one get one. So you can uh, let me zoom in closer for you, and you can. Uh, Look those up later. So there's the kit number that you have to buy, where it says buy number, and then it says get number. So those are your your let's see five tools, the the tool onlys that you can buy. But you know, like I said, it looks like they're sparse on what they're stocking here right now. I mean, we just have a problem with not having enough tools in virtually all the stores. So <clears throat> and there's the same thing here with the Bosch too. With their 12 and uh, not 12 inch their 12 volt tools and um actually this one ended technically i don't know if it would still ring up but usually once they end they do drop out of the register you know you're not going to get that good price clearance at lowe's on grills i just walked over there i didn't see a single clearance on on grills however when I was at BJ's today, there was boatloads of clearances on grills. And I know a lot of you don't have a BJ's club near you. They're basically up the East Coast with a few sort of over Chicago way. Uh, but if you have a BJ's, get in there and look. I mean, some of these grills were $100 off. Some were uh, $75 off. All right, so let me see. Do we have the Cobalt one? I think we probably showed you this a few weeks ago as well. So this is only $20 off. And there was a Matabo down the line here. And by the way, guys, you know, at Black Friday, you're likely to see a whole bunch of these drop in price. That's when they really um, start outdoing each other. So here the Matabo has a new lower price that's $100 less. And this store is already wiped out of them. There's your item number and the model number. Any good stud finders? I'm going to see if we, because we're right next to the aisle that where they, in fact, I can see them from here. I'll see if they have the one that I like the most. Uh, 279 from 299 yeah, so that's only 20 bucks off. And that's it for the miters. And I was hoping to see if, like, maybe these Porter Cable units were going to drop even lower than what they had before. It looks like whatever clearance they had on them, it's, that disappeared. There was some clearance going on there uh, before. And keep your eyes open. If you guys were looking for a table saw, keep your eyes open for this Matabo 10-inch saw. Now, this store is out of them right now. And the price is $4.99. But if you remember, last year, Lowe's put these on sale at Black Friday for $3.99. And then, that was it Acme Tool that had it for $2.99? And a lot of you smarter people at my direction, I told you, bring that ad into Lowe's. And many of your Lowe's managers matched it and got it down to, like, uh... Yeah, two ninety nine, and the thing is, see, the Acme Tools price of two ninety nine wasn't really their real price because they had this bogus fifty dollar handling charge on there, which was just stupid. So it really made it three forty nine. They really weren't selling that table saw for two ninety nine. Okay, here's all the stud finders, and I'll show you the one I like the best is because I have this one, the Franklin Sensors Stud Finder. In fact, I was using this today when we were hanging a mirror at a friend's house. So what I like about this is all you do is stick this on the wall, 
you push the button. Now, this one doesn't have a battery in it. But you push the button, and then when you wave it over the stud, you see how they're showing those those uh, three arrows indicating the where the stud is? All of those LEDs will light up in that little area right there. So it tells you exactly. It's usually three or four LEDs that light up. It tells you exactly where the stud is, so you know precisely where it is. And it's so quick and easy and foolproof. You don't have to play any games with, with magnets or, or like the stupid Zircon with that hard-to-read LCD screen and you beep, 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 beep this way, then beep, 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 beep that way and narrow it in. I mean, the heck with that nonsense. This finds it instantly. It's visual and it's instantaneous. And I just mark the stud on the wall there. Usually I do it like a piece of blue tape so I know exactly where the, the, the stud is. And, and yeah, it's more expensive than some of these cheapy units, but over the years, that's what I found that works the best. Paul says, hey, Jeff, does Blackstone griddle is the griddle treated with nonstick? Do you know? Um, I've seen the surface, and it sort of looks like it might be. Um, we're going to walk by over there in a minute anyway to, when we check the OPA. And that one, let me see. I think they had a, a clearance price on that one not too long ago. Maybe it was just a, a momentary uh, price drop, but that was a nice looking griddle and they do have that here. So this we're hoping, we're keeping our eye on this, we're hoping that they drop the trade stack from 169 at Black Friday. Um, I don't think we have too many gift zone items in yet. These are, these were already here. So the only thing new that's here is these guys. So here you have the Bosch 50-foot three-line uh, cross line. The only thing is this is red, and I, you know, and I'm just over red lasers. I don't deal with red anymore. I'm only green. And to me, you know, 169 for 50 feet, and you know darn well you're not going to get 50 feet out of this thing. Uh, I would prefer a green one. And then what are they doing with this thing here? Laser measure, blaze. And so, I don't think we have a price on this one yet. Do we have a price? We don't. Unless, let me see. 27, yeah, it's this guy. So he's 149. This is that laser measure. So this will go 165 feet. This is really meant for uh, your commercial guys that are doing commercial properties, large stores. Like if you were to come in and do like a Lowe's store, if you were going to do flooring, you know, and Lowe's was your customer, you know, you would need something like huge like that. All right, so this bit set is still 1998. I'd like to see these go lower. Oh, you know what I wanted to show you? Okay, so you see these, these filters here, these air filters? So these are 1900 rated. And these have, it. I don't think it's paper, it's more like a, it might be, I don't know. It, it, it seems more like a plasticky type material. But anyway, so right here, these are 20 bucks a piece, right? And that, I think that's a lot of money to pay for one filter. But if you go to Costco, and I just showed this on my video last night, if you saw it from Costco, they have a three pack of these, okay? But they're 2200 rated, so they're higher rated, they're better quality, and you got a three pack for 30 bucks, which means they're, they average down to ten dollars a piece, so that's at Costco right now. They're one half the price, essentially, of what you're getting here. So just remember that they are very cost inefficient. <laughs> if you were to come here to get your filters, okay. So want to do a quick spot check at Lumber, and then we'll check the. Um, the clearance, the clearance, clearance. So, yeah, what a busy month this is going to be, man. When they start getting in all of these these gift zone things. Hey, where'd they move our studs? Are they on the next aisle? Yeah, they're on the next aisle. All right, so let's see what we got for subfloor. Do they have pricing? Holy cow, is this one still 73 bucks? This is like one of the few that didn't drop in price. So look at this. This is your 23 30 seconds, right? OSB, subfloor. These are $73 still. I'm surprised these are still that high up. I'm wondering if the prices aren't creeping back up again because they were saying on CNBC the other day that the 
paper towel guys still haven't caught up, the manufacturers. So that's why, like, now that all the stores are limiting to one again, it should uh, enable it to catch up. So let me see. Do we have any other? These are all quarter inch. I want to see what they're getting on the back side here. All right. And there's, like, nobody in here. Look, at we are, like, nicely stocked. Okay, so a 2 by 4 by 16 These look like regular Whitewoods. These are 11 75 so these are, uh, let's see what the eight footers, that's what most people use. Uh, do we have the price? There's no price on that one. A lot of these, I don't know where the price is. They're just, they probably don't want you to know until you get up there. <laughs> All right, so here's a two by four by 10, 672. Rapunzel says paper limit everywhere. And, Let's see, where's the, are those pressure, those are the pressure tree, no, those are four by fours. Let me see what these, these just look like the regular rank and file. Top choice number two prime is 578. And the four by four pressure treated, these are 938 right now. I do a close up on the smaller sign on the Craftsman BOGO. I can, and, and in fact, what I'll do too is when I get home, um, before I leave here, I will get a picture and post it on my community tab, which will be even easier to read. Okay, so this is just your regular stud, stud right here, two by four. So these are 385, they're back down to kind of where, where they should be. Um, I don't remember how low they were. I thought I remember paying like 299 a few years ago. Hey, and if you guys, uh, are unfamiliar with that if you haven't tiled before and you're going to remodel your bathroom dense shield is pretty good to use i like this so it's very similar to drywall and it cuts and snaps like it too so you, you don't need any special tools so it's it's sort of uh, roughened on this side which will accept the the tiling that is your tile substrate your backer board so you don't have to um deal with all of the the problems that you have with the um, hardy backer board so I've used that before, but I still prefer to use the curdy panels just because they're so light. And we got the purple boards here. All right, so now we're going to check out. I wanted to show you, there's two displays that it looks like they're, they got them in early for the gift zone and they're not showing pricing on them, but they're right here. So they got these Timberland Pros in, right? And some Caterpillar. So the Caterpillar caps, these are $14.99. They got orange, gray, and they got, I think, black, and they got camo right here. They're not showing how much the socks are. And who knows, they may actually be priced less than what the, the tag says, we just don't know. Go back and check the metal stud prices. Yeah, we just, they're right over there. We just walked right past it. Okay, so the Timberland, uh, Timberland Pro, these are the leather gloves, the work gloves. These, it says $34.99, but they may actually come in less. We don't know. And they got the black ones too. So those could be priced lower when the time comes. We just don't know yet. All right, so here's the metal studs. This is typically what we use here in Florida. You only use the, uh, here we only use the wood studs on a load bearing wall. Ah, uh, so these look, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, 25 gauge, 898. And if you, if you want the little, I hate these. I hate it when the builders use these to do these tiny little uh, thin wall spaces. But the one and five eighths is 628. And then where's the regular two by four? I think it's this one here. That would simulate it. That looks, yeah, probably. Either that one or this one. And so these are 1098, but remember, these are 10 feet long. So normally in an eight foot uh, setting, you would cut them. And then, you know what? While we're here, I just want to point this out to you. You see these right here? I see a lot of mistakes by builders. I can't tell you how many times I've opened up a wall and you see the Romex wire coming through here and they don't use the. I call them grommets. There's another name that the electricians use, but they're those yellow plastic 
basically ring things that go, they're supposed to go in here and you're supposed to run your wire through it. And how those people get past inspection just blows my mind. And Mike Lynn checked in with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Mike. And he says, we need more deals. I know. I think we're in that kind of lull be between the deals, you know? And so here's the clearance stuff coming up around the corner here. Let's see what we got. All right. Um, now, these aren't clearance, but these are kind of interesting products that I wanted to show you. So here's the, um, I think it's called Diam Diama Brush or something like that. But this you would use here to restore your wood decks in siding. A little bit pricey on this, but it looks like it would do a pretty cool job of scraping off all the old stuff. And then they got this shroud. So this is 50 bucks. What I just showed you was 59. So this shroud, I wanna, I might buy one of these one day, or maybe it goes on clearance or something. And I'll see if it fits our grinder. I have a Bosch one, and I'm gonna try that one out. If that doesn't fit, we'll give it away on, as a tool giveaway for the Bosch. Let's see if we got anything useful over here. Nothing really here. But I did see over here a lot of these craftsmen. Yeah, you see these? So they're these craftsmen ones, they're, they get them down to 34. Here, let me see if I can get the amount there for you. So these are all marked down. And sometimes they'll bring out like a lot of these stuff here from lighting, lighting parts and stuff and little tchotchkes and set them up over there. All right. So we're heading over towards OPA land. And when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll hit that craftsman sign again. So we have boatloads of paper towels here, but the thing is guys, it's double the price here. So really, unless you can't find it anywhere, and oh this looks really cool so unless you can't find your toilet paper or paper towels anywhere um <clears throat> at least you, you know here don't forget to try lowe's and home depot because they always have piles of them here so i wanted to show you there was some deals going on on some of these so this one right here i mean look at this price right there so these are cool. These are little uh, marble. And I have never seen mosaic tile sheets this cheap. So 187 is a great price. And I'm not a big fan of like this mixed mode kind of all these hor long horizontal pieces and like that. But um, this would go good if you had like an ocean theme going on in your house or you're close to the beach or something and wanted to make something nice and earthy. But that, that is a really good price right there. To get that for that low price. Wonder if Jeff will find the Craftsman pad finally on sale this year. You know, they're gone. So I don't know if they just maybe put them on sale one day and they disappeared or what they did with those things. Maybe they just threw them out. Maybe they got so flustered that they, they weren't selling. They go, let's throw them out. So you're starting to see like some of these larger 24 inch tiles here. So this is like 194. I like it when you can get these tiles like this under two dollars a square feet so here's a nice one nice shiny kind of a marbly color to it and see so a lot of the mosaics are normally in the you know 10 to 15 range so that's why i wouldn't even i just don't like paying that kind of money for them i always try to get find them you know marked down like this one here if you're into the black and white and the gray, <clears throat> you know, the more modern stuff that the younger folks are putting, I mean, this right here is great because this is only $5.98. So this is like half the price that you normally would pay, okay? And you got this pattern here as well. So anytime you can get any of these mosaic sheets for like, I try to go steep below the $10 mark. How much are these going for? See, these are 317, so these are on clearance also. So these are these river rocks are good for doing the floor of your shower. I did that at my uh, nephew's house last year. Uh, these are still 998. So, that, you know, every time you come in, if you know anybody that's remodeling, tell them to come in and just look for the closeout stuff. 
And same if you same thing if you go to floor and decor. I always go to the back. There's one of these back aisles where they have all of these clearance stuff. And I've always bought tons of stuff in there for clearance. Okay, now this caught my eye when I came in here earlier, so I wanted to show this to you. Again, if you're looking for appliances, and you know a lot of the stores are telling people two or three months. If you want an appliance, look at this. This is brand new. This hasn't been used, right? This one is a KitchenAid stove here. And look at the price, man. So you're seeing stuff like $400 off, you know? And it's, you know, of course, $979 is still a lot for some people to lay out. But, but still, if you have the money and you don't want to wait, dude, it's sitting right here right now. And look at this one. Here you get the, the double oven thing going on. And this is marked down like like a thousand bucks, dudes. This is one of the best savings I've seen in here yet on these floor models on the appliances. And same thing here with like uh, these washer and dryers here. You're talking $400 off. So you don't have to worry about, well, do I, should I try to, should I try to get a, like a, a, a Lowe's coupon offline and print it out and bring it in? And Lowe's got really cheap on us last year. They stopped allowing you to use Lowe's coupons on any appliance, or I think any item that's on sale. Here's a, you know, less expensive Maytag, but it's, you know, $250 off. So these are the things that we're starting to see here. Uh, here's, here's a fridge that's marked down from $2,600 down to $1,800. Brand new. Still got all of the the stuff on it uh where's that stacker oh yeah let me show you this thing here's that this is like when you have those apartments or you have a you don't have much space to store it in so you get one of these stacker units right these things are normally like fifteen hundred dollars right look at the price of this guy i have never in my life seen one this low and then this is a gas one though um, in our area, we don't have too much gas. Over in Fort Lauderdale, um, east, there's more gas than you would find out. I don't even know who in our area would have it. So I don't know how this Lowe's ended up with a gas one. I would not have, if I was the manager here, I would not have done that. You're seeing a lot of these that are 50% off, you know. So really good prices there on these. Yeah, so if you, I know a number of people who are looking for appliances right now, and I keep telling them, come into Lowe's and check these out here. Yeah, because uh, a lot of the appliances you can't even get your hands on right now. Uh, in January, when we when we bought a, what did we buy? We bought a refrigerator and a stove in, in here for our friend when we were remodeling her kitchen. You guys remember that project I was working on at the beginning of the year? And it was a two-month wait for that. All right, so what do you got these? And it's not that much of a savings. They have these Allen and Roths there. Little carpets, they were like a buck off. All right, so let's go to the OPEI, where I know I saw a couple of little deals there earlier on today. It's not down there, it's right here. And the signal might get a little bit weak down here. Uh, I, I wanted to check out that ego deal over there that I saw in a minute, but okay, so here we go. So we've showed you this before, but here you've got, in case any of you missed it, here's the clearance they're running on this cobalt. This is that push mower. Remember, this is not a self-propelled, so you're going to have to push it. So there's your item number, and there's your model number, and there's the clearance price on it. Now. Here in Florida, our grass is very thick here, so I would not in a million years ever get a push mower. I just wouldn't. So pretty much that you know keeps me up. But hey, some people don't mind it, or some people might just have a small yard that maybe they don't mind pushing it, you know? But if you have any kind of incline, forget it. You're gonna want one, you know? And what was the other one? I'm gonna see, oh yeah, I came over and checked earlier. And I scanned in the barcode on these, these cobalt, the 2000 lumen 40 volt max lights. So these right now are clearanced. I mean, they're, they're more than 50% off. I'm still holding out for these to drop down to like, um, I think I remembered last year I scored one or two of these 
for like $15. But just remember, these are tool only. So if you get one of these, you will have to already have a cobalt battery. So unless you're in the cobalt platform, it doesn't really make sense to, to get one of these unless you don't mind buying a battery after this. Yeah. It's still a useful light. It's LED. It sits there, but and it, and it runs off of the cobalt batteries. And you probably want to get two batteries, I, I would think. <clears throat> and we still have the string trimmer. This is the Gen 3. And you can see... Let me try to get it right in there so we can see that number clearly. Hold on, how's that right there? So this is about $32 or so off. So this is the string trimmer right here. And we've already run out of the other one. And that wasn't much of a savings on that anyway, but here it is. Maybe you have some left in your store that you can check. Okay. And was this that one? I think this is the one here that was 170. Yeah. So it was this one here. So the difference is this one's bigger. And just, I mean, look at the head end on both of these. And they're both 40 volt, and that's brushless. Now I want to see the Ego deal, and then we're really close over to the griddle as well that we were talking about. So I want to see what they're doing with that griddle right now. Uh, BJ's, when I was there this afternoon, had a grill very much like this, like a dual smoker type thing. Um, this is basically more or less just a grill, but I'm sure you could make a smoker out of it. And I forget what price it was, but we'll see. So here we got a clearance on this one, on this master built. This is the digital charcoal smoker. So this guy is actually a very, very, very good price for that. Here's your item number and your model number on there. Ted says, Jeff. What's up, Ted? Not at Jeff Lowe's. Yeah, yeah, what's not at Jeff? This Lowe's doesn't always get some of the, the best stuff. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. <clears throat> it's like sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Okay, so the Ego, and I don't know if these are necessarily discounted or not. you got to be very careful with Ego because we don't often see deals. So the, the model on the left is a 530 CFM with 110 miles per hour. That's decent, but... And then the one on the right, you see that's $299 for 650 CFM, 180 miles an hour. And I think it comes with... Uh, what is it? Yeah, is that their 56 volt? But the one that I got at Costco from Greenworks was a 700 and change CFM. It had more CFM than this one. And it came with an 80 volt battery. And man, I got to tell you, that thing, you pull the trigger and it feels like it wants to blast off. Did Jeff show the Xmas items? Not yet. The Christmas stuff's right over there. All right, let me see if they have that griddle. Where is it? it was, yeah, there we go. It's over there. And, and I really like the look of this griddle. It's just nice and high tech. The Blackstone, I like their name, the way it's engraved in there. And you got this massive tray in the front to store all your condiments and stuff. And, you know, it's hard to say whether or not this is nonstick. I just, I don't know. I guess you never really know till you try it, whether it is or not. And let's see, what else does it say on here? Yeah, so these are $3.99. And uh, so there's no deal on it right now, but I think, I don't know if it, I guess it comes with this. It comes with the seasoning, the griddle seasoning. Doing all right? There you go. Yeah. Two in one, removable, hard cover, and hinged hood. So, yeah, so you can pop this thing off backwards so you can have full access to this guy. Grill manufacturers beer to make a car to accompany their grills. Yeah, that's what they need. Uh, any of these others? Oh wait, we have another one. Alright, so 50 bucks off. Well, actually, it's not really on sale. It's just a new lower price on the Pit Boss. So, $50 off. Down from $3.99.
and there's the inside of it see I don't like these kind of coated grates like this because eventually this stuff starts cracking on you and just deteriorates I'm a stainless steel guy I want I want my 304 stainless steel and that's what I use on my grill my, my um, ultimate favorite my wish list is I want to get that Myron Mixon smoker but their smokers are like uh, three grand four grand five grand and up but they're serious stuff man they're like insulated and everything all right any other deals on these nada so so here's our Christmas display you, you got all your, your basic stuff but I just wanted to give you a quick scan of like all the inflatables they got so all of the the two and three and four footers are all on that side see so as we make our way over there you're gonna see a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse one right there let me zoom out a little bit they got a tall Santa so those are basically they look like maybe four to five footers at the most and then the big ones let me see if I can get to the clearing over here and I see a couple of new items this year too that look pretty cool I'll show you in a second so here's the big ones up here and I like the Grinch on the end I used to have a Grinch very similar to that one okay and then here's a couple of new ones that we got in this year these are these are kind of popular people like to put these kind of things out the dear Santa letter stuff and your penguins here with the present looks pretty cool all like that most of these other things and eh, I'm just kind of up in the air about the presents right here looks okay see the problem the polar bear is not bad here either the problem is with a lot of these things they don't put enough lights in them you know like this thing right here there's hardly any lights on this guy this little tree is not bad he looks kind of cool but I I just don't like the large lights on it and then their trees over here and I hope the signal is good I want to see if their trees look as good as the Home Depot ones. And really, the only one I see here, see, this one here looks kind of nice. $119, seven feet tall. Got some frosting on there. This is more for if you have not so much room. So their, yeah, their tree selection this year is not as good as Home Depot and not as good as the, the ones at Costco. And they're still using the bigger, like this right here. I don't even think it's an LED. These are incandescent lights. So I'm like, people, come on, get with the program. They're not even LED lights. So, that's what we've got there. Oh, and Vader says, I got that Franklin Stud Finder on clearance for 25. A couple of months back. Yep, and... I'm trying to remember if I saw it at Costco last night or not. I forget where I was. It was either there or Sam's Club. It might have been Sam's Club. Because I was in, I've, been, I've been in both stores for the last couple of days trying to find paper towels and toilet paper. Because, you know, i got to get that stuff for, like, you know, the ladies in our church that are shut-ins and widows and stuff that can't get out or don't have the, you know, wherewithal to go driving all over town. So we do all that heavy footwork for them. And we're coming up on uh, that DeWalt vacuum. I've showed you this before. They've, you know, they've lowered the price on this basically $20. It's been like this a few months. The only reason I didn't get this one, and I love that big power switch, it doesn't have wheels. So to me, it's got to be able to roll around. All right, I want to check that um, buy one, get one again on uh, the Craftsman. We'll, we'll get a close-up shot of that sign. And it's coming up right down here. Hey, and I might be going back to L.A. again at the end of November. So when I get out there, everybody's telling me I got to hit that. There's a thing out there called a Super Home Depot. And I think there's only two or three in the whole country. And they're supposed to be basically like the largest Home Depots in the country. I might, I might find my way over there to do, maybe after I go hunt down Jay Leno's garage and do the Hollywood sign and the studio tours and all that all right so let me see if i can zoom in close enough on this sign see i, I really can't I, it'll have to be doing it i'll have to do it in photo mode 
after I'm done here with the live stream and then uh, blow it up and post it. But basically, th these are the tools here. And when you get to your lows, you'll see it on display there, or you can order it online, I guess. But and, and it won't be live online until the 25th. Remember, they got it here in the store. They got the jump on it. Okay, but you either buy the two tool combo kit or the hammer drill, and you can take your choice of those tools right there for free. And so, I, mean, I don't even see, do we have the two tool combo kit? The combo kit isn't even here on the shelf yet for you to buy the darn thing. So, yeah. I will get a close up shot of this sign before I leave here tonight and post it on my community tab page. So just look for that later on, all right? And I'm gonna see if there, if there was anything else that we missed. Okay, we did that aisle. Um, on the compressors, we kind of see these deals all the time. And I, I see a clearance on the Metabol. I want to check out up there in a second. Let me see. So the Cobalt, they just have a new lower price. This is on the hot dog air compressor. Oh, let me show you. This, this one's bigger and easier to read. This is the eight gallon one right here. So there's that one. And this one, they, they seem to perpetually run this deal all the time. So this is that Craftsman. So this is normally $2.99 for the three tool combo. But, and let me make sure this is the right one. No, I don't think it is. I think this is for that kit down there. Is that the one tool? I think that's the one tool combo down there. Yeah, so they basically have $50 off, but it's basically a new lower price. It's not really on sale. That's just the new lower price for it. So what they used to do at like Black Friday is they would lower it from $199 to $149. But it just looks like, okay, new lower price going forward. Do we have clearance on this one? We have clearance on this Matabo. Here's the 50-foot hose, right? And it also comes with a lot of fittings too. And how befitting it is. Now, does it have now it's got the air one. I have a really nice air one that that the uh, temp the 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 air gauge thing shoots out of it, which is cool, the old style. So here's your part number on this one. The super is in Anaheim Hills. Dang, wait, is that is that like south of LA? Do I have to go like clear across town for that thing? Because I'm going to be up in like Beverly Hills. I'm going to be in Burbank. I'm going to be in Holmby Hills. I'm going everywhere, man. And I'm going in style. I might be staying at the Beverly Hills Hotel again. All right. And I forgot to show you this when I was back here last time. So we have the cobalt bottle opener. Is now clearance down to two ninety eight. So that's this guy right here. And I believe we have come full circle, and I believe we got everything, unless they added something here that we didn't catch a minute ago. Because like, there was a guy standing in here, so I didn't want to like bother him too much. Let's see, anything down this aisle? Wait, I remember seeing that Dremel kit. Where did I see that Dremel kit? I think it was up front. I'm going to show you that. Uh, real quick. So if you look at my video that I uploaded last night, I showed you that Dremel kit that was at Costco for 79 and it's a it was a different model number than the Dremel kit that we're going to see here in a second. And that kit here, I believe, I think I see it over there. I think it was like 99. Let me, let me see what it is. But tell you, I'm glad they have those DeWalt blades on um, clearanced out to that price because that was pretty good. $39.98 for our haul tonight from Lowe's Home Improvement. So here it is. Here's that Dremel kit. So this was just added. So $99. And you know what we've seen before, guys, is right after Christmas last year, they had one that dropped to like half the price. It was like $59. Bucks. And I'm killing myself for not grabbing it when I had the chance. I think I did get one and we gave it away as a tool giveaway. So it's the 4,000 level kit. It comes with 16 of the blades and a whole bunch of little tchotchkes in there for you. And okay, and then of course 94 bucks for the torque wrench. But you know what? 
this thing's massive, man. Holy cow. I would almost be tempted to use this as a break, breaker bar. <laughs> All right, how many of you guys have ever done that? How many of you have ever used your torque wrench as a breaker bar? <clears throat> and then a smaller one, the 3 8 inch, is $84.98. Now, at Home Depot, they've got that Husky. That's like, isn't that like 49 bucks over there? If any of you guys have used that, hey, let us know. And Rick just checked in. Rick Washek. And Rapunzel says, used my Dremel on the coffin just a second ago. <laughs> there you go. Now, this is the first time that they've actually had these batteries sitting out here like this. Now, they got a lot of these green turtles on them. So handle with care. These green turtles, they're finicky, boy. They will start, they will tear your head off. They will start moaning and whining at you. They still have this kit. They had this kit last year. They, they debuted this one last year. This is a good kit because for 20 bucks, you're getting all of those kind of rare. And let me see if they have any of those security bits that I was looking at. Yeah, like see like those with the holes in the middle of them right there. Those are security bits. But the other one I was trying to see if I, it's hard to see through every one of these. It has like a little fork with prong things on it or something like that on them. And I have a 200 piece version of this kit, which is nice. But these are cool too because uh, they're compact and you can see them through the clear lid. The, the previous versions don't have the clear lid. All right. Let's see some Matachi. Oh, wait. Matabo. Um, you know what? Another thing they told me in here, one of my guys in here told me, was that last week they dumped a whole bunch of Cirque Saw blades for real cheap. He says they got rid of the Matabo ones. So maybe check your store, see if they're going to do the same thing. But he pointed like right over here, he says they had a bunch of Matabos and, and Boshes. I think they got rid of them too. So I don't see anything in here right now. And then um, in terms of Matabo stuff on sale, there really isn't. You know, I'm sure it's going to come up. Because remember, remember guys, all of the deals are ending now and there's going to be new ones coming up. See like this one, they still got the sign up. This one technically ended like, you know, last week. So right now we are without any deals on Matabo, but you can bet that once, once these other ones all expire like next week, you're going to see something new come in. And as soon as it does, you know, I'll be the first one to let you guys know on that. All right. So listen, I am going to check out because I think we've covered just about everything. We left no stone unturned. And if you have any questions that did not get answered, Make sure you ask them in the comments below once the video is uploaded as a video, once the live stream is done here. And if you didn't see our upload from last night on Costco, you got to check that one out. All of the Costco deals for October. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff that we're busy, a lot of videos we're working on this week. And just start cranking them out, folks. And also, by the way, the Cobalt deals are ending next week as well. So if you were on the fence about any of those deals, this is the week to do it, to get it done, folks. All right, so thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. And we will see everybody on the next one. Hey, by the way, I think uh, Sunday night we might do a tool giveaway kickoff. So Sunday night, 8 p.m., I'm probably going to go live. If I'm ready and I get all the stuff loaded up on the game site, I will let everybody know, and I'll do a community tab post and... I'll set the uh, the live stream thing ready to go, and that will be that. So plan for Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time for the tool giveaway kickoff, unless you hear otherwise. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great evening.